everyone, it's Emma here. I'm glad to finally come back and continue with my tutorials. So I've decided to make this tutorial in a little bit different way. Um, first, I'll give some highlights about right hand, left hand, runs, passages that I found helpful while practicing this part. And then, uh, somewhat probably towards the end, uh, I'll play this part in different tempos to illustrate everything I've said before. So, for the right hand, I took, uh, as you can see, this uh, blue brackets on the score. So, these are for the left hand. I took it, this nose with my left hand to give my right hand a little bit of rest, to give my right hand a little bit of exhalation. Be smart, you know. <laughs> Help your right hand. Uh, it's your friend. So, it's important, uh, it's important to feel elbow movement to the right and to the left very quickly. That's basically the key to success of this part. To ensure that in fast tempo your forearm wouldn't get stiff and as a result your fourth and fifth fingers wouldn't lock up. <laughs> so like you plug in into some electricity. Um, and actually um, uh, speaking about fourth and fifth fingers to better control evenness in these fingers, I would suggest you play musical speech, intonating all the way seconds up and down. So this is what I mean. Basically over here, you're always gonna play this like short ver ver variation of trio, like you know, the full trio. Um, so all, all the time, I would make sure that they are imprinted in my throat. They are imprinted in my internal singing. So with musical speech, I'm always intonating seconds up and se second down. And that will control the distance in between these notes, while, especially when I'm playing fast tempo. And also a little bit uh, of advice, when you go here, and you go to the third down, one may say, what a big difference, second down, or third down, but it makes all the difference. So you have to move your elbow quickly here. Then you again go by seconds. And again, from here to here, you go to the third down. Move your elbow quickly. Because these little things will create a little bit of tension and eventually it will be like a huge snowball and will bring tension to the whole forearm and lock up everything. For the left hand, make sure you pay attention to my cut marks, intonating intervals with great speed and weight. So if I play, for example, I would intonate this. Internal, I would sing this way. So together, with ability to play kind of fast with my fingers, it would look this way, like your fingers would be very active. And that would be our difference between staccato and marcato. And of course, intonating this way would also create some character while playing, some give bring some additional nuances to the character of music. Again, it's important to feel elbow movement on the way down to help, so that's what I mean. When you go down from here, not up, but from here down to the base, to help our poor right hand, because sometimes we think there is so much to play in the right hand, and we completely forget to feel how's our left hand doing. So meanwhile, even a slight tension in the left hand, if you don't move quickly enough, your elbow would create like tension here, may prevent speed and effortless in the right hand. So if the left hand is not fast enough with elbow, we would start applying more tension, and that brings tension to the right hand as well, because 
and in those hands are connected to one body. So if we feel tension here, we would also it would also affect tension in the right hand. So when you play, make sure that you move your wrist to the right and quickly elbow to the left. Just really imprint it in your mind, this movement, very quick. Again, with completely loose hand. Taking a single note out of this passage with the left hand will help the speed in the right hand as I would reduce this usage of the thumb. So if you play exopita, at some point you will use your thumb uh, like every three notes. And uh, that's this, uh, we know our thumb is clumsy, that's the one who prevents us from the speed, not this. We can play very fast here, but not with the thumb. So take one, one note with your left hand and then use these fingers. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. And again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> easy. Now, elbow movements is crucial here again, are crucial here. So it's important to make elbow movement as fast as possible everywhere. Let me show you what I mean. Over here, fast. Over here, you play this note fast back. Over here, fast to the right. Fast to the right. So you have to make sure you move it quickly here to prepare it over there already. And then you move the same way quickly here with the right hand. And that will be enough. So move it here to the right and here to the right. Again, please guys, don't make like with any tension. It, that, it has to be made with absolutely loose hands. Should be felt uncomfortable. And also the last thing, intonating the passage with musical speech will bring additional accuracy and control to your fingers. So, and it's actually quite easy here because here I will go by seconds that I feel every single step. in slow tempo, in moderate, in fast tempos, to demonstrate all the movements. Now what I'm going to apply is imagination, wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation articulations, musical speech, phrasing and time. I didn't speak about imagination, wrist movement, phrasing and time, but I've said enough about this in my previous tutorial. So. Um, one more thing, when I'm going to play, I would focus 
mostly on fast and quick elbow movements in both hands. On the seconds that I feel in my right hand over here through musical speech. And fast elbow movements in both hands at the end with all the runs as well as intonating, like I just showed the seconds, thirds with musical speech. So quick elbow movements, musical speech, of course it's all organized in the structural phrasing, which will again help our muscles to breathe better. And uh, basically it, so elbow movements, musical speech. Okay, let's start with slow tempo, just to, to show you all the movements that I was making.
towards this third more intense. So as a result, my third finger will be just a bit, how to say, <laughs> just a little bit early prepared. In this case, I will not use the notes. <laughs> Thank you.